So today's the day. Seeds going in the ground. <laughs> we've got, we've got uh, almost three acres here to do. And it rained like crazy last night. So we are going to get uh, dragging this. We got to drag it. We got a uh, drag harrow. We got to try to smooth this up first before we get some seed down. But first, I need to spread the uh, fertilizer and uh, get it down. So Where do you got the spread? That's what we're doing. Fertilizer, man. What kind? What the soil sample say? The soil sample said to use a lot. A 11.52O and 0060 because that's all the co-op could match me up with. There you go. According to my soil samples. So uh, I got to put down about 80% uh, of the fertilizer now because my CEC was kind of low coming in. So I will, uh, when this all greens up, I'll come back and spread the rest. A split application is what you need to do in that situation if your ground can't handle so that's what i'm going to do we're going to get this spread compact everything even more Half a bag hardened up right there because they taped the bag shut. Well, he's still doing all the work. Yeah. <laughs> Truth there. I look at the difference in color. Yeah. Done. We just spread by hand the whole field. We put annual clovers on, which will be plowed under for the green manure. What we put on? We put on almost 12 pounds. No, 16. Almost, almost 20, 20 pounds. pounds yeah. Sorry. We put on almost 20 pounds in the main area here, and close to the woods, I left a strip that I put in a perennial. Yeah, perennial and mixed in some annuals with it but towards fall i won't plow that up because perennials grow so slow i'm going to let that grow all year round and if when the annuals go they go but there will be something over there and uh yeah we're going to go get the ferminator now we've got a strip of sunflowers to put in and we got to screen it all off with egyptian wheat so Play along, stick with us. We'll be back with the Ferminator. Black oil sunflower seeds today. A couple of strips here. On the outside of our plot. I think we ought to try that first. Be in. Sure. Got our sunflower strip, two rows of Egyptian wheat. Jay hooked it that way, and down at the end, went across and brought it up about 50 yards this way. Complete screened in area. The deer like to approach right now from this corner, but there's a lot of good paths down here that they'll be coming into the field. So if you have any questions about what we did, how we did it, or what we used, drop me some comments down below 
and if you're not subscribed you better be because tell them plots are coming tell them what we had when we first got here this morning after spraying yesterday what we had here we sprayed That's pretty antler funny. grow along that whole edge we sprayed all the brows with antler grow yesterday pressure washer we showed up this morning we had a doe bedded underneath this big brush pile over here that <coughs> sprayed last night sitting there eating it so we had a funny hat and in my house last night we sprayed behind my deck on my deck I have a small plant there and we sprayed it and last night my wife went out to check on her pea plants that she's planting in the garden and there was deer out in the backyard too so they crave it they want it so anyhow this is it guys I've got two and a half acres here you'd best be subscribed and follow this because there's gonna be a lot more videos coming I'll have an update uh, in a couple of weeks I'll have to come back hit some things with some more fertilizer um, and then, uh, like I said, updates coming all summer long, and and you'll have to watch for fall. So, thanks for watching.